Hi, my name is Marin Nielsen, and the career profile that I chose is a youth worker. Um, I have a friend that um, works as a youth worker, and so I was able to call her and ask her questions about um, this career. It's something that can be done um, without a bachelor's and also with a bachelor's degree. Um, if you have a bachelor's degree, you'll definitely get paid more. You may have more responsibility, but um, you'll definitely get, get paid more for the job. Um, the organization that she works for is called Trinity Youth Services and that's in Apple Valley, California. Um, the working environment, they have um, different opportunities. There's full-time positions, there are part-time positions and also on-call positions and she works actually on-call. Um, for the most part she's a stay-at-home mom but she does work on-call um, if, um, if they need somebody. Um, shifts are usually eight hour shifts and weekend shifts are 14 hour shifts. Um, they're open 24 hours a day because it is an in-treatment facility program and so um, there are a lot of different opportunities and different shifts that can be worked. Um, they are flexible with working with your schedule and um, if you aren't able to come in they do have people that they can call in to cover your shift. Um, the stressors she said that are typical for this job are um, the attitudes of many of the youth that can be very difficult a lot of them have just come out of juvenile hall and this is kind of their second chance they've come from very dysfunctional homes and don't respect authority she says it's very difficult to become their friends they're very closed off at first and so that's kind of a, dif a difficult um, part of the job um, they don't again they don't trust adults and so a lot of the adults in their lives have not come through for them and um, so it's very hard to um, become close and and have them trust you um, she also said that they do swear a lot and and call names and you have to be able to be in a a place that you can just let it roll off your shoulders and not affect you and be able to keep your cool and keep your calm she said having a um, Knowing what to do in that situation and, and playing it through is very helpful so that you don't lose control um, and get angry. Um, she said it's also difficult because you don't see the benefits of your hard work r right away. Um, it takes a lot of time to maybe see um, their, um, their um, how well they're doing. It takes time. So you don't see their progress right away, and that can be very difficult. You don't get the um, that reward, um, but you do see little changes um, day by day. They may be small, but um, it takes a, a while to to actually see the progression. Um, she said that the pay also isn't very good at her facility, um, since it is kind of a stressful job and a hard job. Um, the pay isn't very good and, and that is kind of a stressor for her as well but she does it because she enjoys it and um, it's something that she wanted to do. Um, typical benefits, um, they do offer full-time employees health and dental insurance she, so she doesn't have insurance through them since she's on call and um, uses her husband's insurance. Um, common job tasks are daily supervision of the youth um, you are assigned certain youth to continually observe. You need to know where they are and, and what they're doing. You teach life skills. You talk to the youth about their treatment and how they feel their progression is going. Um, you can also possibly administer medication and keep track of what medication they are taking and also offer transportation to certain appointments. And she said you're also really there to be a mentor and to talk with them and... and um, be their friend and offer good advice. The educational requirements again at her facility are you do not have to have a bachelor's degree um, but it definitely helped her get the job. Um, I did do some research online and there were a lot of places that do require a bachelor's degree and experience and the pay was definitely better than at her facility. Um, starting salary range at her facility was minimum wage and experience salary range was up to sixteen dollars an hour um, and I think um, that's about it I 
definitely was had a hard time finding something that I could do just with a bachelor's degree that that I um, am interested in. I would eventually like to be a youth counselor and which requires a master's degree so that will be my next career profile but I have always wanted to work in some sort of a treatment center possibly with um, young girls with eating disorders, certain behavioral disorders, maybe alcoholism, drug abuse, things like that is what I'm really interested in. So I could see myself um, being a youth worker in a, in a treatment facility, possibly first, and then, um, then moving on to get my master's and becoming a youth counselor. Okay, thank you.